Hey everyone, welcome to another ID Maker tutorial. In this episode, I'll be demonstrating how to encode a magnetic stripe on your ID cards from scratch. Once I log into ID Maker 3.0, the first thing I choose is if I want to open a recent project or start a new one. Since we're starting from scratch, we'll start a new one. Now, the first or the next question you're be uh, given is if you want a mag stripe or not. Of course, for this example, we do. Now you'll notice single-sided ID cards are not available. Mag stripes are only available on dual-sided cards. Now we'll just orient our cards the way we want them. Start from blank. Now here, um, the next step is selecting the data fields you want to include on your card. Select all fields you want printed on the card and encoded on the mag stripe. In this example, I will choose first and last name, go grab badge number, and let's see, employee number and emergency contact. And of course, let's add a picture on there. All right, and create a new database just so we can start from scratch. <laughs> If you are looking to use an existing card and simply need to add data fields to encode, you can do that by going to the Data Entry tab and clicking Add or Remove Fields, just like that. And you can, of course, select them here. They'll show up there. Now, if you want all these fields printed on the card, <clears throat> you can keep them there. However, in this example, I only want to show the picture, first name, last name. I don't want these. Uh, numbers displayed on the card. I only want them on the mag stripe. So I can just click and delete them right off the face of the card. Now if you go into the data entry tab, you can see that these fields are actually still available to encode on the card. <clears throat> they just won't be displayed on the card. Once you're ready to encode the magnetic stripes, navigate to the template design tab, select encode, select mag stripes, <clears throat> and enable all the tracks that you're going to use. We're going to use all three tracks. Now the first field does not have to be a numeric number, while the second and third tracks do. You can type this information in by hand, or you can autofill these fields with an existing database. You do that by selecting the drop down database field and then click details. And we're going to select that one, double click to put it there. And let's finish that for the rest of these. Double click. And database fields, details, emergency number. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is especially useful, using a database is especially useful when you are printing multiple cards at once. If you choose to use the database field, you do need to be importing that data via a CSV file so the software knows what data to pull in. You can do that by navigating to the blue ID Maker logo on the top left. Click that, hover over database, and like import database. Do you want to save the changes? No, because we're still working on it. And import from a database. That will open a file finder window where you can browse all of your computer files um, and find the CSV file that you want to import. Once you've selected the data to be encoded and confirmed the card design is as desired, Obviously, this is not looking so pretty right now, but you can design that as desired. We'll double check all the data we want. Good. In theory, I uploaded a CSV file that has these fields in there. Now, once you've done all that and confirmed everything's as you would like, you are ready to print your magnetic stripe ID card using um, a capable MagStripe enabled ID card printer. Congrats, you have just encoded a MagStripe ID card. If you have 
more questions, I encourage you to check out our ID Maker 3.0 tutorials. And thanks for watching. Until next time, design on.